Hey there, everybody. Do you love to travel and learn about new places? Great, then you are in the right place. Join Jasmine the cat and Gracie the tortoise as they have fun traveling the beautiful United States and learning lots of cool new facts. Hello there, friends. It's Jasmine, the jazzy gray cat, here with my BFF Gracie, the super smart tortoise. Say hi, Gracie. Greetings, my good friends. It's Gracie here. Are you ready to explore Minnesota, our 32nd state? I am ready. I just love Minnesota's nickname, the North Star State. It's called that because it is our state farthest to the north, not counting Alaska. It's got the same name as the North Star, which is a super important star. The North Star is also called Polaris and is in the constellation of the Little Dipper. If you want to see Polaris in the sky, find the Big Dipper constellation and follow the two stars at the end of the cup to the Little Dipper. The North Star is in the tip of the handle of the Little Dipper. And the North Star is very important because it always shows which way north is. So, if you ever get lost at night and need to find your way, just look for the North Star. Wonderful information, Jazzy. Minnesota is also called the Land of 10,000 Lakes because it has so many lakes, 11,842 to be exact. And if you add in the smaller lakes, there are about 15,000. Wow! It has lots of lakes just like Wisconsin. The word Minnesota comes from the Native American tribe, the Sioux, and means cloudy or sky-tinted water. Mini means water, and soda means cloudy or sky-tinted. So put them both together, and you have Minnesota. Now come on over to the map so that we can find this northernmost state. Here I am, and I found it. Look, it's next to Canada in the north, Wisconsin and Lake Superior in the east, Iowa in the south, and North and South Dakota in the west. That's right, and the shape of the land, the hills, and the lakes were created by glaciers. Although, there is a tall tale about how Paul Bunyan created the Minnesota lakes. Paul Bunyan? Who is that? Paul Bunyan is a tall tale character. A tall tale is a story about someone who has an exaggerated power, like being very strong or very big. These stories were made up and told to entertain listeners and to explain how things were created. Ooh, like having a superpower. But you still haven't told me about Paul Bunyan. Be patient, Jasmine. I'm going to. The story of Paul begins in Maine where he was born. He was so big when he was born that five storks had to carry him to his parents. And then he just kept growing bigger and stronger. One thing that he really liked to do was to cut down trees, just like a lumberjack. His faithful companion was a gigantic blue ox named Babe. There are many stories about Paul and Babe, but here is the one about how he created all the lakes in Minnesota. One day, Paul went off to do some logging or tree cutting. He tied up Babe because the ox had been very naughty. Babe did not like that and pulled loose from the chains. Paul Bunyan chased Babe all over Minnesota, and as he and Babe ran, they left footprints in the land. It began to rain hard, and the prints filled with water and became the lakes of Minnesota. And to remember Paul's contribution to Minnesota, there are statues of him everywhere. What a funny story! I know that the lakes were really formed by glaciers, but I like that story about Paul Bunyan and Babe. I hope we can see one of his statues. Now let's get in our cute blue camper and go find some! Great idea. While we travel, it's time to talk about famous people. The actress Judy Garland was born in Grand Rapids. One of her many movie roles was being Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. I love that movie. Glinda the Good Witch is so beautiful. My person is Charles M. Schultz. He was born in Minneapolis. He was a cartoonist and created the Peanuts Gang. You know them. Charlie Brown, Lucy Linus. And, of course, Snoopy. Yes, I do enjoy their adventures. Our first stop will be in the capital, St. Paul, and the biggest city, Minneapolis. They are called the Twin Cities. Twin Cities? Were they born on the same day? Do they look alike? No, Jasmine, they are not that kind of twins. The two cities are just very close to each other, 
and are located on the Mississippi, Minnesota, and St. Croix rivers. And people from Minnesota often just refer to them as the cities. Gracie, did you know that the Mall of America is near the Twin Cities in Bloomington? We must go. And we will. But first, we will do a few things in Minneapolis and St. Paul. I think we should start right here at the Wabasha Street Caves in St. Paul, right here on the Mississippi River. These caves have some very exciting history. Well then, let's go in and find out. While we're waiting for our tour, let's learn a little bit more about the caves. The caves are not natural caves, but were carved out of the sandstone as mines around 1840. The caves have been used for many unusual and different things. Like what? Let's see. In the 1920s, it was a restaurant and dance club called a speakeasy. It's thought that gangsters like John Dillinger or Ma Barker came here. Some people believe that gangster ghosts haunt the caves due to an unsolved mystery. After the speakeasy closed, it was used for growing mushrooms, and now it's enjoyed by tourists. I'm so glad we took the troll tour. Our troll guide was so funny. I can't believe there were real bullet holes in the wall, and I am doubly glad we didn't see any of those ghosts. And the mushroom bowl we made is a great souvenir. Where to next? I think we should hop on over to St. Paul's twin sister, Minneapolis. Hop! Gracie, we are not frogs. You're right, so I guess we'll just go in our cute blue camper. Oh, Gracie, you are so funny. We could go to the Mall of America. Yes, Jasmine, I know you're excited to go there. But first, I think we should visit Minnehaha Park. Minnehaha Park? What a fun name. Hey, say it with me, friends. Minnehaha. Where is it? What will we see? It's a city park right in Minneapolis, and it has a waterfall that is 53 feet tall. That would be a little taller than nine men standing on top of each other. The falls are part of the Minnehaha Creek. Ooh, that is a pretty waterfall. Look at the children playing in the creek. They're having lots of fun, but I think I'll just watch. I don't want to get my paws wet. I agree, Jazzy. I prefer a nap on a sunny rock myself. Okay, enough nature. On to the Mall of America, and I have all the facts. It's the largest shopping mall in the United States. It's so big, 258 Statues of Liberty could fit inside. There are over 500 stores. But it's not just about shopping. Oh, well, let's go in and shop. Oh, I mean explore. Oh, my, this truly is gigantic. It sure is. Besides shopping, we can get creative at the Crayola Experience. Go to Nickelodeon Universe, which is an amusement park inside the mall with 27 rides. Or there is the escape game. This is where you go into a room and you have to find the clues to figure out how to get out. What should we do? Let's enjoy the Sea Life Aquarium. The glass shark tunnel is a great way to get an up-close experience to sharks. Look up. We can see the sharks swimming overhead. Oh, my. Those teeth look very sharp. Come on over here. Even though the jellyfish room is totally dark, the glowing jellyfish are exciting to see. Oh, yes. The aquarium was fun. Now, before we go shop, let's get on the Flyover America ride. This ride makes you feel like you are soaring over America and get to see some really cool places. Are you buckled in? Oh my gosh, we're going over the Golden Gate Bridge. I even got sprayed by water. Did you, Gracie? Yes, I did. This ride was exhilarating. Seeing so many of the places we have visited from up above really gives you a new view. I just loved when we raced through the cities. This was so much fun. I just love my fancy new collar. I think we have just enough time to go to Brainerd Lakes and visit Paul Bunyan Land Amusement Park. I want to see the enormous Paul Bunyan statue. Great idea. Oh, my. Paul Bunyan is 26 feet tall, and he moves. Gracie, did you hear him? He said, hi, Jasmine and Gracie. How did he know our names? Hmm, super interesting. Yes, it was. Now, there are lots of rides in the amusement park, 
and here in the old farm pioneer village, we can go in a log cabin. Oh, Gracie, over there! Isn't that silly? That big clock is supposed to be Paul Bunyan's pocket watch. He must have had one really big pocket. And this finishes up another great trip. Now back in your princess bed so we can head for home. Let's do crayon jokes for the Crayola crayons at the Mall of America. Me first. What color socks do bears wear? Let me think. Brown fuzzy ones? Oh, no, Gracie. They don't wear socks. They have bare feet. Good one, Jazzy. Now here is mine. What is a cat's favorite color? Oh, Gracie, this is too easy for me. Purple. I guess it was. Now it's favorite place time. I really enjoyed the shark tunnel at the Sea Life Aquarium in the Mall of America. And Gracie, you know, that was my favorite place too. But I like the shopping. How about you, friends? Don't forget to tell someone you love your favorite place and come back next week for Oregon. Bye now. Say goodbye, Gracie. Goodbye, my dear friends. See you next time. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining Jasmine and Gracie on their adventure today. Come back next week for the next one. Hello, everybody. It's Gwen here. If you want to know more about the places we visited, just go to our website, jasmineandgracie.podbean.com, and go to the sources page, and you can find out all about the great places that we visited. See you next week. Bye-bye.